Okay, you can just say the. Okay. Get start. Uh, Maharashi. Yes, ma'am. Ah, get start. A warm good morning to one and all present here. It good. gives me much pleasure to extend a warm welcome on behalf of the Petition College for hosting this national three-day student development program on career guidance. Let us begin this day by invoking God's blessings on all who are gathered here. I would like to invite Ms. Niveda, student of third Bcom Corporate Secretaryship, to lead us in prayer. Psalms 126 verses 5. Those who saw in tears will reap in joy. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to attend this webinar. We ask that you bless the students, faculty, and the resource person for making this webinar possible. We pray that you will guide us in all ways so that we will seek you, your will in everything that we do. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Is Maharashi? Are you there? Yes, ma'am. Oh. We can't hear you, Maharashi. Thank you. It's a glad welcome to bring you this morning free the desire, hope, and dreams we all share. I, rec I now request Dr. Oroki Mary Gita Rupas, our vice principal, to welcome the gathering. Good morning to all present here. Morning. I heartily welcome you all to the three days National Student Development Program on Career Guidance. I take immense pleasure in welcoming our distinguished guest of the day, Dr. R. Subramaniam, founder and CEO. Mindless Projects Private Limited, Morning. and Mr. Ganesh Vaidiswaran, Chief Transformation Officer, for their valuable presence. I take privilege to welcome our Director and Secretary, Reverend Brother Dr. Stanislas, for heading Petition College, a Christian minority co-educational self-financing institution affiliated to the University of Madras and established in the year 2001 by the Brothers of St. Patrick. It is a congregation established by Bishop Daniel Delaney in 1808 at Ireland. Our college has been re-accredited with A plus grade by NAC in 2021 and ranked number one in Tamil Nadu and 18th in India among the top non-autonomous colleges by Education World. And the college has been awarded four-star mentor status by Innovation Cell, Ministry of Education, Government of India. The college offers three undergrad, 13 undergraduate programs, six postgraduate programs, and two MPhil programs. Our college academic activities are monitored by our ever vibrant academic director, Dr. Fatima Basan, who is here with us today, but unfortunately because of some emergency meeting, she is not available for the felicitation. I thank ma'am on behalf of everyone. And I also welcome our principal, Dr. Usha George, our faculty members. We also welcome our student participants from various schools and colleges who have given their wholehearted willingness for these uh, three days national development program. I thank you all. Thank you. Welcome. You're most welcome. Now I would invite Mr. Vignesh, Assistant Professor, Department of Corporate Ma'am, we can't hear you. Ship, Little louder. To introduce the resource person of the day, Dr. R. Subramanian, Founder and CEO, Mind This Projects and Training Private Limited. Good morning to one and all present here. I am happy to introduce the chief guest for today's program, Dr. R. Supramaniam, founder and CEO of MindBix Project and Training Private Limited Chennai. He is a postgraduate in commerce, public administration, and business administration 
doctorate in financial derivatives tma from usa global chartered accountant from uk he worked in delight as a project financier as a corporate experience of 18 years plus and teaching and training experience of 32 years plus he has published in 45 journals 70 magazines authors of two books has done more than 5000 500 training program have trained approximately 2700 budding entrepreneurs mentors for entrepreneurs from 1991 for tamil nadu government advisor msme tamil nadu and pondicherry recently conducted program for short up throughout tamil nadu and kerala for 26500 plus participants he can help in preparing business plan project report facilitating project finance through equity angel investor a debt financing from banks and ndfc he is a visiting faculty of iim and many leading institutions we are very glad to have such a eminent personality in our program today he will he will surely be an inspiration to the students who we will be who will be eager to get more information thank you thank you thank you sir for your valuable information now i hand over maharashi you are not audible ma ma'am maharashi you are not audible increase your volume yes ma'am now ma'am we can't hear you at all now i audible ma'am no we can't ma'am i don't know ma'am just leave and then come back okay ma'am well after we start you got to do it unmute unmute yourself unmute yourself ma maharashi unmute yourself you are muted maharashi maharashi we cannot hear anything unmute yourself maharashi now? yes yeah, yeah it's fine it's fine now Okay, ma'am. Now I hand over the session to the esteemed resource person of the day, Dr. R. Subramanian, founder and CEO of Mindbus Projects and Training Private Limited, to talk on the topic of career opportunities for commerce and corporate sector JCP students. A macro perspective. Thank you. Good morning, good morning, all of you, and thank you, special for the principal, vice principal, management committee group. for giving this opportunity for next 3 days in highlighting for the students at the outset i congratulate the college when i visited i don't know about the nac tradition nac tradition excellent one um, in 2001 when it was started i was hearing the news that one college was started by saint patrick but now i can able to see the dynamic leadership of so many people and finally lot of things are happening congratulations at the Outset for uh, tremendous achievement with the college. Uh, so this is a very important topic of career counselling for commerce and corporate sector leadership. Generally, it's a very big topic, a macro topic for even science, engineering, for any kind of students. Since your college has eleven departments and confining to commerce and corporate sector leadership, there's a world of opportunities. Those who attend probably really gain a lot. Or even after that, probably the recorded session can be given to them. Uh, actually, the structure of the program, everything are explained to a PPT. Let us start. I think PPT is visible now. Career and counselling for commerce and corporate secretaryship. Uh, 
one second. It is visible. PPT is visible? Yes. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Uh, as generally it is said, only one or two clarification I like to do. The journals and articles which are very thankful for introducing me. From last June to this uh, March, 36,500 participants spread across. A uh, particular day, 1,000 people were sitting in a college. It's only online. Particularly, it was 400. And it's all organized by ICT, which is the government of India and Tamil Nadu conglomerate. That is for entrepreneurship. Coming back to this. Catch them at the end. That's what Swami Vekaranda said. The right age, excellent age, is from 18 to 25. Till then, they have been monitored by their parents. You must acquire knowledge plus skill. I am re-emphasizing the skill now. 25, 30 years back or even beyond, beyond, uh, before that, uh, there was not topic about skill. People used to go only for polytechnic or you go for a typewriting institute to learn. But without skill now, at present, you are nowhere. You will not, you will not be considered at all. Acquiring a knowledge and skill should be between the age of 18 to 25 years. Actually, if a person lives for 100 years, for example, one fourth of 100 is 25. Call age must be completed in call age. If you take in Tamil, call is 25, one fourth of 100. Before 25 years, try to gain your kind of qualification, knowledge, skill, and then you can have any kind of language skill can develop. 25 to 30, you was able to settle down in a particular place where you have a long-term career. Then life is yours. This will be supported by by next person also in the same sphere. Avenues open for commerce stream. As an accountant, huge opportunities are there. With statistics, I'm going to tell you now. My presentation will be only about 25 to 30 minutes maximum. After this, followed by Mr. Ganesh on the topic of US program. Accounting skills required with tally, Excel. You must know how to file a return, not only income tax return, GST. And if you train yourself as an independent person, there's a plethora of opportunities, world of opportunities. No exaggeration. Since many of you are from different places, probably watching this, in Chennai, if you take industrial estates, I will take an example like Sirisevi. Uh, there are more than 1,200 small and medium scale organizations there. For that, every month you have to finalize accounts. Every year you have to finalize the financial statement and file. For that, accountants are not available. Trained accountants are not available. Still, it is a situation everywhere in India. You cannot study a BCom and then come as it is and finalize accounts. No. You need to club, integrate with BCOM, the kind of tally, Excel, ERP, or a GST related tally, and also every fine that requires internship clearly. In one of the colleges in Adayar, four years back, the chairman told us to create a lab, commerce lab. They allotted 35 lakhs rupees. For uh, etiquette's sake, I'm not reading the name of the college. Then uh, we did in the last uh, floor, third floor, a banking, insurance, stock market, simulation, complete. They did uh, even blocks individually and they have an auditorium to present. So the students after two or three o'clock will be only in the lab. It's a commerce lab that was established maybe even uh, eight years, nine years back in Magajana College of Commerce, Mysore. Accountants are the main important fulcrum, basic. You will have learned in 11th, 12th standard, and you'll be also learning in first year BCom. Uh, that's the principles of bookkeeping, then followed by accounting skills. Now, when you come to the role of an auditor, you have two global qualifications. As it is, there are three to four global qualifications, but I'm not going into deep into other areas because we don't want to confuse anyone. Charter Accountants in India, which will be covered tomorrow's session by one of the faculties, the Charter Accountant Motivational Speaker, Petichi Kannan. Today, you will have the global effect of the Charter Accountant and the Cost Accountant 
and now it is going to be done immediately after my session by Mr. Ganesh Vaidhi Suran. Then, as a BCom or a corporate secretaryship, what are the scope? That is like banker. As a banker, what kind of training I need to go for a bank? Then as the insurance, untapped market is insurance. If you take life insurance, only 12% have been tapped. 98%, 88% plus untapped. Health insurance. Insurance is a very broad spectrum. Still, you have wonderful scope on that. Then international trade, exports and imports. Only three, four days back, you would have seen Vikyan Bhavan as a new in, uh, place in Delhi. They have opened up and India's exports have gone $400 billion. Import and export and uh, logistics and shipping and so many other areas, international trade, if you specialize, there's a wonderful scope. Having said that, I will go to the next one. Ah. The avenues for corporate secretaryship will also be covered tomorrow, but I'll give a broad outline. As uh, if you know, 40, 50 years back, there are three kinds of secretaries, executive secretary, a personal secretary, and a company secretary. These executive secretaries were uh, yearning for a degree. So 1980, an institute was formed separately for company secretaries. You are a company secretary now, you are a much wanted person in the positive sense taken. Company secretary with a law degree. And you have a skill of filing all corporate affairs. It's not that easy, you need to be trained. There's another area which was re-emphasized last year, 2021, in the company law, related to CSR related matters. Then arranging meetings. Then they have already, they also include a company secretary for forensic audit and legal affairs which he has to assist the, assist the audit committee or the board of directors. And they also say you can also enroll into insolvency, bankruptcy, separate course like charter accountancy, and they do. In many corporates, charter accountants along with company secretaries club together, they work as a company secretary and a CFO. But the volume is more, work is more, so they can't able to cope up. There's a huge opportunity on the company secretaryship which you are studying more than 30 to 40 percent of the subjects in corporate secretaryship. Early it was called BAC, BA corporate secretaryship. Now I think BCom corporate secretaryship in many colleges is one of the best course you can plan, which probably again tomorrow's uh, resource person will be covering in depth. Now, structure of the program. Like I told you, now we'll be giving some uh, main areas of accountant. Then Global Accountants and Auditors by Vajishwaran, Ganesh Vajishwaran, CA and CS in India. Specifically, what kind of course, where, which career you can take up, what is the enrollment pattern, everything by tomorrow, 10, 15 to 11, 45, by Charter Accountant, PTC Kannan. Banking sector, insurance sector, technology. In the technology, we mean by, you have a data analytics, you have an artificial intelligence, embracing with a banking group. Within three, four years, you do that, then there you will be. That will be covered by Dr. Vasudevan even on Wednesday. That is June 29th. Now let me proceed. So as a student, 11th and 12th standard, some of you may know, may not know also. So carefully listen. There are total establishments in India, 10 crore approximately. These are statistics they are taken in 2020. When I say 10 crore establishment approximately, it is manufacturing, service and trading and some of the manufacturing and trading sector sorry manufacturing and service sector can be enrolled as a micro small medium enterprise or a small medium enterprise then large scale enterprise it depends on the turnover latest in this february 2022 the finance ministry has changed the definition of an msme that is uh, not uh, connected to this area, so leave it as it is. You can learn later. But as it is, the main thing which you have to take is 10 crore establishment approximately throughout India. Then that means kind of opportunities available in private sector. Then you take this 10 crore doesn't come under public sector. So public sectors are there. Then you have non-traditional sectors which can also be taken like an NGO, 
non-profit organization, trusts, cooperative societies. So the requirement of professionals are always uh, required, always available, always needed, and uh, there is a gap between what people are training in schools and colleges and what the industry need. Not only in terms of numbers, in terms of quality, in terms of whether they have been trained. For example, if you are traveling at 11 o'clock in the night, and suppose your two-wheeler gets stuck, you, you cannot do anything because nobody is available on the road, no shops. What exactly we do? We keep it somewhere and come. You, if you are trained in also knowing some nuances, some areas which you can do the two-wheeler, probably you are skilled on that. Skill, skilling is very important. For that, Government of India has formed a separate ministry, National Skill Development Corporation, and it's also coming under MSME Niti Ayo. It's a separate ministry to develop skill. So accountants required as it is, this is also taken on statistics, covered with uh, all the 29 states and new territories of India. And uh, we are not taken certain areas of six lakh villages in India, but when the village is say it covers to district. So 90 lakhs to one crore accountants required as it is at present. I told you an example just five, seven minutes back on Silsi, which is on the Bangalore Railway, you can see, Undai plant is also there. In that place, an accountant individually who trained himself 15, 20 years back, that time the tally was only a prim, uh, preliminary stage. He started training himself. He went and got all the clients. Slowly he started doing it. Now he's having more than 6,000 clients. Every year he's doing finalization. Because every company, small or big, they may be technically qualified, but not qualified in accounting. How do you finalize and stay a finalization of statements? So this person started doing everything and he's having a big office. Only the signing of financial statement be done by a chartered accountant at the final stage. That he can give to any chartered accountant who will evaluate, audit, and then do. So, as I say, an individual started, then he started with 15 people in his office. He is doing for 6,000 companies. Now, 90 lakhs to one core accountants required. Suppose 50% of that, if you have an accountant being trained, along with BCOM, with whatever is said, complete filing, your communication is important, your tally with MS Excel, and then how you finalize an account, how do you perceive, and you can probably add on some skill of even advising, what is a fixed capital, what is working capital, then you are a very important person, whatever salary you are asking, they will pay. That is the systems of accountants required in this country. Definitely any course available. This college is going to do a special course on this, those who are clearly interested. After three years, you will feel a difference on that. Then auditors, there are more than 25 to 30 lakhs auditors required at present. How many charter accounts are there in India as, as it is? This is governed by Institute of Charter Accounts of India. 1949, it was formed. Three lakh charter accounts are there as of now. Out of that, 44%, 1.25 lakh charter accounts are in practice. Remaining, some of them will be work, many of them working in corporate, some of them working outside the country, India. 3 lakhs in insignificant fear. When I say 10 crore establishments, take for 50% of the 5 crore or 6 crore companies require audit, then you require that much of people. A one person doing for 100 companies, for example, beyond that, it is exhaustive, it cannot be done. In that case, with 1.25 lakh charter owners practicing, how you can get it to so many people? Therefore, auditors, charter own course is a slightly tough course, but dedication, concentration, commitment, highest level of integrity, these are all embedded in the course. As you see from this college, which I am saying with the highest sincerity and commitment, then those people, if they train themselves, definitely for a percentage of passing, it will be easy. So 25 to 30 lakhs people are required. When you come to company secretaries, when I say 10 crore establishment, even if you take 5 to 6 crore, 
there's a stipulation if you have more than uh, two crore of share capital, 25 lakhs to two crores on category. There are two crore people required as company secretary. The two crores are number, but the share capital requires the number of company secretaries and it's compulsory you have to appoint. Other than that, every company, private limited company or public limited company must get a signature of a company secretary complete. And after that, only a charter account will sign. Then you have to file in the ROC, register of companies. So the role of company secretaries has become very wide. After 2013, amendment of the Companies Act. Now, when you come to bankers, technology expert, whether it is a banker or insurance, a technology expert with the banking technology. There are courses available, which are, this college is also doing excellently well. You can have a certificate course or even data analytics of the latest uh, uh, internet transactions and digital transactions, which you can embrace for the last semester. Then uh, at present with that kind of expertise, 30 lakh people are required. When you come at three to four years later, definitely this number will be doubled, number will be even tripled because the growth of the kind of bankers and insurance and in the financial spectrum, because fintech companies are coming up more. So expertise are required in that field. Every 10 years, experts differ because experts need to enrich themselves. Why it differ means the kind of uh, technology development Whatever you study 10, 20 years back from outdated. So you need to update yourself and then go into another stage. We'll come to the next slide. Probably we'll move on in that direction. Accountants, 90 lakh to encore required, which I told you even before. Audit auditors, 25, 30 lakhs, company insurance. And here I think I've given you for the reputation with one more last two, two lines, which is important. Insurance and technology people. The technology which we are talking is information system, data analytics, artificial intelligence. Now it comes also with machine learning because insurance to take unknown that if a crore population, say at least uh, some 90% of the people are taking life insurance. Then imagine the kind of role a technology can play. Individually, independent working is not possible. You need a technology. That, that area IRDA has given a statistic that 60 to 75 lakhs required now. They are very conservative in saying this. It needs to be doubled in three years' time. Probably that area is an unexplored area. It has come up new. And IRDA, with the help of LIC and different groups, are formulating a specific course on that. It also can be embedded with the system. When you take AA, artificial intelligence and data analytics exclusively, you need a technology expert exclusively who may or may not have a commerce knowledge in a banking sector. You may have little of digital transaction. That kind of people, a rough estimate by Center for Monitoring Indian Economy and by IIT Madras, they made an estimate that four crore plus people are required. That is why as it is in the last two years, a complete dimension of change. You can do everything in online now. It's better. A professor from Harvard, professor from Yale, or a person sitting in Delhi can able to do that entire thing. Uh, actually, for information, last year, July, August, I did a program from sitting from home through Delhi for 9,000 people of charter governance on the role of a charter governance for MSME. Same program doing it today evening also for one of the group. Actually, online course when you do there are several things which are connected in the online you learn complete the certificate program and then go so certain things are offline certain things are online in that case there's a background in which people have to work so technology imagine the kind of bullet trains which are going to come metro trains kind of airlines and airports are completely giving a total transformation that is one area which has a wide scope. I will come to the next other area, which is my focus today to tell you the students that 11th and 12th of any CBSC, ICSC, all you study in state board, no problem. Wherever you have studied, you only studied the basics of accounting and probably 
to some extent of shares, then financial statement, partnership, like that. But what the industry need is your in-depth knowledge of accounting. That can be taught only like colleges like patrician, where from the first year level itself, you will be trained fully on what the industry need. When I say industry, you have to bifurcate into private sector, public sector. In private sector, partnership companies are completely different from cooperatives and NGOs. In that itself, when you have a technical kind of electricity kind of companies doing accounting different. So you need to be trained in different direction because you don't know which kind of jobs you will get in the future. So you have to think in that direction, basic accounting knowledge. Finalization of financial statement. For you, the life is excellent. From after your plus two, from VCOM, you can learn in three to four years. Some of them who I train at 40 years and 50 years of age, they come for a workshop program for three days or five days maximum, and they learn everything in short, short form. Their area is only to appreciate a balance sheet or a p and but your area is to go from the grassroots, and more people are required. This is the basic area, the foundation, which is very important for any kind of course. Then you need to know commercial knowledge. What is stock market? What is the, com what is the commercial sense? What is export import? What is the kind of a sense of market? How do you do digital transaction? How, we, how do you do the payments? Complete general commercial knowledge and finance and financial markets would spectrum. Then only can appreciate the entire segment. This will be covered in the accounting aspect. Now, tally specifically with GST application at present is a must. Then you have an MS Excel, basic course required, advanced course also. In the MS Excel itself, you can prepare a business plan, project report, detailed project report with financial projection. All this will be taught. Then you see your uh, curriculum VTA, your bio data will be so much completely enriched. It will be highly rich and it will sell automatically. In this course, they also teach a few areas in enterprise resource planning. It will be a customized one. They will give case study and they will give a specific kind of a internship in that place, in that specific industry. Then the practical fighting of all IT related, income tax related and GST related matters will be taught because practical fighting is very important. Every charter account firm, company security firm, every banker, every company required this kind of trained people. Certain areas of laws you should know, like Cyber Act or uh, Communication Technology Act, or certain areas of general laws, corporate laws, that practical application will also be taught. This is one area which will be useful to you. I think with that, I come to the last slide because I have to complete first and the next uh, speaker is there. Kindly take this as a very serious mantra. We are all talking of our experience over 30, 35 years. Before that, we were in education, that is learning part. With our good experience comes from bad judgment. Good judgment comes from bad experiences. Because of the experience you are sharing. So probably you take the experience, your starting will be much easier. Knowledge plus skills, that is the future mantra. Only knowledge by just mugging up and then vomiting in an answer paper, getting some 60, 60 marks, 90 marks, will not be the order of the day in the future. A complete transformation has taken place everywhere. So they will ask you, what, what is that you contribute to my company? Knowledge per skills. Daily take this mantra, like you do a mantra like be at it, beat it. Be positive, beat negatives. Always be positive to achieve the success. Any questions, please, I will answer now. And probably then I will move to, we will hand over the mic to the next speaker. Please. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, sir, for your valuable information. Thank you. Now I invite Dr. Tain Muli, Assistant Professor, Department of Corporate Secretaryship, Shift 2, to propose out of thanks.
the best and beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched they must be felt by heart thank you is one such prayer among them i consider it a great privilege to propose a vote of thanks to all who have witnessed it as a memorable and successful event today my words are not enough to express the gratitude on behalf of our college i would like to thank our resource person dr r subramanian founder and ceo mind this project and training private limited who graced us with his thought provoking session set a perfect platform for our college thank you so much for your wonderful presentation sir and the session was very informative i place my gratitude to our college management director and secretary reverend brother dr a sanis law academic director dr fatima wasan principal dr usha jha vice principals dr geeta rufus and dr meena for all words of wisdom that radiated a source of energy within us thank you thank you thank you ms we will listen to the next speaker thank you all now i start our second session i invite mrs rekha naidu assistant professor department of accounting finance to introduce a resource person of this day ganesh vaidishwaran ca cma cpa and ca of the usa chief transformation officer finspire academy do i start or is there anybody coming in now hello start sir start ma'am rekha naidu ma'am rekha ma'am is not there sir to introduce ma'am she is there ma'am Yes, ma'am. To introduce, no. Rekha, ma'am. Rekha, ma'am. Are you there? Okay, we are calling her. Okay, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Yeah, we are able to hear you, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. You are audible. Good morning to one and all gathered here for this virtual student development program on the topic career opportunities and promise. Myself, Rekha Naidu, Assistant Professor and Head Department of Accounting and Finance, Patrician College of Arts and Science. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce and welcome today's resource person, Mr. Ganesh Vaidyaswaran, who is a chartered accountant and cost accountant from India. Besides being a qualified, certified public accountant, certified internal auditor, and a certified management accountant from USA, he has more than three, thirty-five years of global experience in the corporate world, and is until recently was the East uh, Chief Operating Officer for the Indian subcontinent and Middle East for the Japanese giant Sumitomo. Besides this, he is the founder, director of Grey Matter Academics. an academy based out of chennai that specializes in providing training to students on integrated professional finance programs ganesh subramanian sir has trained and mentored mentored many students across the globe for the cpa cia and cma of the usa besides this he has been a motivational speaker and has addressed many schools colleges students guiding them on their career options and counseling them on the changing landscape of ed education especially in the field of finance and accounting sir is currently the chief transformation officer of finspire academy an academy that specializes in the training students for the professional finance certification of usa 
He is also the Associate Professor of Professional Practice in prestigious VIT Business School for their MBA programs. He is also involved in conducting management development programs on behalf of VIT Business School for their corporate partners. We are glad to have you amidst us, sir. Welcome, sir. Thank you for the introduction, uh, Ms. Rekha Naidu, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Can we start, Maharasi? One second, sir. Yeah, okay, fine. Now I ask Dr. R. Subramanian, founder and CEO, Mind Best Projects and Training Private Limited, to brief about the session. Actually, you have already done very well. So my briefing is actually not required, but this is a very, in, very interesting and important program by a leader uh, with an expert on that subject who have trained globally so many people. So many people owe our kind of library to you, Ganesh, actually. Because it's inspiration. I also did this program 10 years back. Uh, he's an expert and master on the complete tour of USA, United States program, professional program, which you can do in India. Clear. So he is going to do the excellent approach now. With that brief, I leave it to the floor to Mr. Ganesh Vaiti, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Subramanyam. That was very generous of you. Uh, Thank you. A very good morning to all of you. I hope I'm audible. Am I audible, Maharasi? Just one person, if you can confirm my... Yes, sir. You can hear me? Yes, sir. You can increase. You can increase still more. If it is possible. Yeah, I'll do that. Right. Now, now, excellent, excellent. Yeah, fine. Thanks, uh, doctor, once again. Um, it's a privilege to be here amongst all of you and I thank the management, the principal and the vice principal of the college for this opportunity along with Dr. Subramaniam who has been a very close friend of mine for the last 35 years plus. Before I begin this session, I would like to give you some understanding on how the landscape of learning, especially in the field of accounting and finance is undergoing a major change. Let's make this session a bit interactive. Can somebody tell me what is the population of the world today? Can somebody tell me what would be, what is a likely population of the world today? Any idea? Since you said somebody, I will also answer. Seven, yeah, 760 billion. Yeah, it is about 7. Point, it's 7. 7.6 billion people. 7. What is billion. the population today? Yeah. Each person is different on their own. You know, each have their individuality. But there are two things that are common across all the 7.6 billion people. And that is, each one of them would want to be successful in their life and each one of them would want to be happy in their lives. I hope you would all agree that you would want to be successful in your life and also be happy in your life. Now, what is success? Success is a very relative term. When I say relative, it means that what is success for you may not be success for me because my yardstick for measuring success could be different and vice versa. So a very generic definition of success could be success is getting what you want. When you get what you are aspiring for, then you can call yourself successful in life. So I hope you would all agree that success is getting what one wants while happiness is wanting what you get. Because this would mean if you want what you have got, that would mean contentment. And you will find generally across that every contented person is a happy person. I'll take a leaf out of what Dr. Ramanyam had briefed you earlier. Uh, there is a very, very important equation that you need to understand. And you are all in that threshold now. What is that equation? That equation is 5 equals 50. You might be wondering as to how can 5 be equal to 50. Let me just explain. The next five, six years in your life is going to determine how you would be leading your life for the balance 50 years 
after that five, six years. The average lifespan of an Indian today is 73, the life expectancy as they call it. That is on an average, every Indian is supposed to be living until 73. Of course, our lives would be much better because, you know, we are all well nourished and then live in a much better atmosphere as compared to the others, the below the poverty line people. But let us assume that we all would live until 73 years. You must all be around 17 to 18 years as of now, I guess, you know, like because I was checking the profile of the attendees here and the vice principal was mentioning that you are all, you know, like students who have completed your class 12 or in the first year of BCom, just having completed that. So you must be all about 17 to 18 years. The next five, six years would mean you would be 23 by then. If you are judiciously using this five to six years of your life, the balance 50 years, because you would be 23 by the time you complete your learning process. And I was mentioning to you that the age, average age is 73. The balance 50 years is going to be thoroughly enjoyable and guaranteed enjoyment. G-U-A-R-A-N-T-E-E-D -E enjoyment I'm talking about. So it is extremely important you focus on the current five to six years. Please understand your past is not going to be a representation of the future. So how you are until now is not an issue. How you are going to be from now is what is important. If you are willing to transform yourself and change for the better, your life is going to be awesome. And we all agree that we want to be successful and happy in our lives. With this background, let me just give you a little bit about the global scenario today. The internet revolution has changed the way things are happening across the world today. What has internet revolution done? The internet revolution has cut across all geographical boundaries physically and the entire world has become one marketplace today. We all need to understand a few years back, if you had to do your shopping, you had to go to the shop today. But today, the shops have entered and invaded your living room. Internet has started playing a very important role in all our lives that we cannot imagine a life without internet. The resultant outcome of internet revolution has been the globalization process where business between countries has improved tremendously. Prior to the internet revolution, business was still being done between countries, but it was a bit difficult when the process was on. But today, thanks to internet, that has become extremely easy. I hope you will understand because sitting in one corner of Chennai, you can buy something from a supplier who is sitting thousands of miles away through Amazon or through the other e-commerce websites that are available. So that has made doing business between countries much easier. The resultant outcome of the internet revolution and the globalization is the e-commerce boom, as we call it. In fact, people are saying that we have just scrapped the tip of the iceberg as far as the e-commerce is concerned. And this is expected to grow manifold in a good country, opportune country like India. This is what is expected to happen today. So what is this internet revolution, globalization and e-commerce boom led to? It has led to great opportunities for you today. <coughs> Excuse me. You are living in a gold mine of opportunities today. But please understand, along with opportunities, there is also heavy competition for you. 
so you need to ensure that you are one up against your competitor so that you can be successful and happy in your life the opportunities are huge as i said but along with that the competition is also very high in addition to this the biggest challenge of artificial intelligence over natural intelligence is posing a great threat students please understand study show that 40% of the jobs that are relevant today are going to be redundant in 10 years time in 10 years 40% of the jobs that are important today will no longer exist now what is the biggest difference between artificial intelligence and natural intelligence where does natural intelligence score over artificial intelligence it scores because natural intelligence has the ability to think whereas artificial intelligence cannot think if you have programmed it it will be able to complete a task more efficiently and much faster but if it faces a new problem for which it has not been programmed then artificial intelligence cannot think so the only way natural intelligence can stay one up as against artificial intelligence is to ensure that we keep thinking we keep honing our thinking skills thus our educational system today hone our thinking skills my blunt answer would be no because the indian system of education is more focused on remembering rather than understanding and applying what we have learned in fact many of the major indian system of education we only study we don't learn please understand there is a big difference between studying and learning studying is with marks in mind whereas learning is with knowledge in mind and as dr subramanyam was mentioning we need to have knowledge to survive in this competitive world the skills he was talking about so upskilling is extremely important so what are all the qualifications that foster your ability to think let me dwell on it for the next few slides but before that you need to understand a professional qualification is extremely important for one to be successful in life today so the need of the r is global finance professionals and not just local finance professionals you need to have a global perspective to be successful and happy in your life and that is what i am going to talk about so i am going to essentially focus on what are all the global options that are available when i talk about global please understand it does not mean outside india india is a playing a very important role in the global scenario today so when i talk about global qualifications it also includes india as a country for opportunities so every program i am going to talk about today has great opportunities in india besides across the globe now what are the options available for students like you who have just completed your class 12 or in the first year of your bcom what are the options available now if i ask you what are the countries that come to your mind immediately when i talk about overseas qualifications there are two countries that come immediately into 90% of the people's mind the first one is the uk or the england options available from uk what are all the options that are available from a uk perspective you have some a qualification called the acca you have a qualification called cima and you have the chartered accountancy of england and wales these are three major qualifications from the uk now 
what are the characteristics of these UK options? You need to understand that India was ruled by the Britishers for more than 200 plus years. So our system of education follows what the UK system of education is structured basically. So if you look at the UK options, there are three main characteristics. One is they are long-term courses. The courses are for a longer duration as compared to shorter durations of the other country options that I'm going to be talking about. Secondly, these exams are descriptive in nature. When I talk about being descriptive, the exams or something similar to what you have seen in India, you will have to write descriptive answers for these exams. And thirdly, they are multi-level qualifications. In meaning, you complete one level, the first level, go to the second level, complete that, and then go to the third level. So it is one after the other on account of which they are long-term options, as I was mentioning to you. Now, let us look at the other country which, you know, like everybody would want to go and qualify from. That is the USA I'm talking about, the United States, which is the mecca of learning for the world today. What are the qualifications we are talking about from the US? It is the CMA, which is the Certified Management Accountant, the CPA, which is Certified Public Accountant, the CISA, the Certified Information Systems Auditor, the CIA, the Certified Internal Auditor, and the CFA, the Chartered Financial Analyst. These are the five major professional certifications in the field of finance from the US. Now, let us understand why should we be looking Sorry, sorry for interruption. Yeah. You do the slide, the right answer to US was not clear. Because uh, your uh, camera on the Magarani, Magarasi, and my camera is coming. You don't know. The okay, slide. so let me just move this a little bit so that you know. Is it okay now? Uh, UK is very clear. US, you don't know why. It is not uh, outside. US only coming. Other than that, nothing is coming except CFA. No, Subramaniam, what you need to do is probably the images you need to move by no. the side so that you will be able to see that. No, no problem. Thank you. Thank you, sir. No, no, no worries. So, why should we be looking at the... Uh, okay, is this clear now? I've moved yes. my image a bit. Uh, Subramaniam, is it clear now? It's clear, yeah. sir. It's, it's clear, it's clear. Okay, fine, fine. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. Probably I should have moved my image, I guess. Thank you for that, Subramaniam. So now, why should we be looking at certifications of the US as an option rather than any other country's options, including India? U.S. undoubtedly is the mecca of learning, if I can call it. You know, like everyone wants to have a qualification of the U.S. for various reasons. And let me list down the reasons why U.S. certifications are extremely important. The U.S. certifications are globally recognized and you are employable across the world, including India. When I say globally recognized, what do I mean? 100 plus countries in the world recognize these certifications of the US. Let us take Chartered Accountancy of India as an example. Chartered Accountancy of India is recognized in 16 countries outside India. Whereas these US certifications are recognized in more than 100 plus countries. So the qualifications are recognized in so many countries. You are eligible to get an employment in so many countries. So especially in this new world where the entire world is a global village, thanks to internet revolution, globalization and the e-commerce boom, 
you need to be looking at qualifications which enable you become globally recognized and globally employable rather than restrict yourself only to certain limited countries the us option programs are all short term with a long term benefit what do i mean short term you can complete these courses in 12 to 15 months time along with your graduation that is the most important part of it you can do your bcom and simultaneously pursue the certifications and complete them in 12 to 15 months time provided you stay focused and the benefit you would get is from a long term perspective i was telling you about the uk exams which is similar to the indian exams where they are multi level for example you take chartered accountancy you complete your foundation then go to your intermediate complete your intermediate and then go to your final so they are multi level exams whereas majority of the us exams are single sitting exams which means you can sit and complete them in one attempt and not do it one after the other so they are single sitting exams and what is the flexibility i am talking about when i say they are flexible they are flexible on two counts one is the examinations are conducted multiple times in a year <coughs> if you look at the uh, indian uh, professional certifications i am sure you would all know the exams are conducted only twice a year it is either in may and november or june and december whereas the us exams are conducted anywhere between 150 days in a year to 300 days in a year what does this mean let us take a typical indian scenario where you know you are preparing for your may exams but some reason you are not able to complete your preparation so you are not fully prepared for may <coughs> you will have to wait until november to take your exams which means six more months you need to wait take a us exam scenario you have not prepared satisfactorily but you would want to take the exam after completing your preparation you have got 150 days in a year when exams are conducted so that you can write your exams upon completion of your preparation that is an extremely big advantage we are talking about similarly if you look at the indian exams you will have to write a minimum of four exams together or eight exams together depending on how you would want to take it but in the case of us certifications you can take up the exams paper by paper what do you mean by paper by paper you can write one paper today and probably after 2 3 months after you have prepared for the next paper you can write the second paper so it is that flexible we are talking about <coughs> the number of days exams conducted is also much higher as high as 300 days in a year and also you can write the exams paper by paper that is the amount of flexibility we are talking about the curriculum is designed in such a way that it is very industry relevant and you are industry ready once you complete your certification it is not necessary that you need to do your articles like your uh, chartered accountancy in india because you would be industry ready when you have completed that certification this is another big advantage when it comes to certification of the us now one more thing you need to understand students work from home has become a new way of life today thanks to covid it is not necessary for everyone to go to work on a regular basis they can work from home now what does this work from home mean exactly to employees 
it means that the competitor for them is not just within their locality, but it, they can be sitting anywhere across the globe. Because they can work from home, your competitor for that post need not be sitting in Chennai or Tamil Nadu or South India. They can be sitting anywhere across the globe, which means you need to ensure that you are globally competitive to be successful in life. So that is extremely important. And acquiring a globally recognized certification guarantees you this safety. Obviously, there is great earnings potential and your career is supposed to be on the fast track once you complete these certifications because the entire globe becomes your marketplace to look for an employment and you are not restricted to any geographical area. So these are the primary reasons why certifications of the US can be done. In addition to that, the major, major advantages, these certifications can be completed by taking the exams in Chennai for those in Chennai and multiple examination centers across India. You don't need to travel to the US to take up the examinations. You can complete the same sitting where you are. <coughs> now, I'm going to focus specifically on the Certified Management Accountant Program because this is what is very important from your perspective or from where you are today. You are all students, as I have understood, have just completed your plus two or your first year BCom. So this would be the most ideal program for you to complete it. And let me just explain the major features of this certification. The certification of this management accounting program is awarded by the Institute of Management Accountants in the USA. This qualification, as I was mentioning to you earlier, is recognized in 100 plus countries, including India. Let me underline, don't be under the misconception just because this is a US certification. It is recognized only in the US. It is recognized in 100 plus countries, including India. Now, now comes the best part of it. This is a one sitting exam with just two papers to be passed. You just complete two papers to become a certified management accountant. Now, there could be one question that immediately comes to everybody's mind or most of the people is, how will two papers give us that much recognition? Because, you know, like we are all determined, we all determine the value of something by the quantity that it offers rather than the quality that it offers. We are all driven by the quantitative mindset. Let me just tell you something interesting to you. I'm sure all of you must have heard about the ICWA Institute in India, which is now the Cost and Management Accounting Institute in India. The CMA India and the CMA USA had a reciprocal arrangement until two years back. They do not have this arrangement now. Let me come back to you. But until two years back, they had this reciprocal arrangement. And what was that reciprocal arrangement? Let me tell you, you need to pass 20 papers to become a cost accountant in India. You need to pass 20 papers to become a cost accountant in India. So the CMA India Institute and the CMA USA, they had a reciprocal arrangement. And the arrangement was, if somebody had passed this 20 papers in India, they need not write any exam of the CMA USA and they will be able to get that two papers free and they can anoint themselves as a certified management accountant of the USA. But there is no big deal in that. I have passed 20 papers and all I am getting is two papers free, which is not a big deal. I'm sure you will all be agreeing with me on that. 
But please remember the other side of the reciprocation was if somebody had passed these two papers of the USCMA, they would also be called a cost accountant in India and they would be getting this 20 papers free. <coughs> Let me repeat that. If you have passed these two papers, you would be anointed as a cost and management accountant from India without having to write any of the 20 papers. But let me also add, this arrangement is not there today. Then you must be wondering, why did I talk about this arrangement at all? The arrangement I spoke about was only to inform you that these two papers have great value that an Indian professional institute had acknowledged the fact that these two papers were equivalent to the 20 papers. So all I am telling you is the recognition with respect to what you would have when you complete these two papers is equivalent to the 20 papers of the CM India. Next, the primary focus or the main focus is on management accounting and financial management which is common across the globe. The practices and principles of management accounting and financial management are the same across the globe. That is the reason why it is recognized in more than 100 plus countries. As I was mentioning to you, you can take these two papers, paper by paper and in any order. It is not necessary that you should finish paper one and then come to paper two. You can also start with paper two and then go to paper one, depending on how you feel about each of these papers. Each exam <coughs> is for a duration of four hours and they are online. You can write these exams in Chennai. Chennai is a center, so you don't need to travel anywhere to take up these exams. 100 multiple choice questions in three hours and two descriptive questions in one hour is the format of the exam. So in these four hours, you would answer 100 multiple choice questions in three hours and two descriptive questions in one hour. That is the structure of the exam. As I was mentioning to you, there are six months in a year these exams are conducted. Six months would mean about 180 days, but then remove the Sunday. So we are roughly talking about 150 days the exams are conducted. So you have a great deal of flexibility when you can decide when you would want to take up the examination. The minimum passing score is 360 out of 500 or roughly about 72%. But you don't need to worry about this because it is predominantly objective in nature. So with objective and multiple choice, getting much higher scores is very much possible. So you don't need to worry about it. It is possible to complete this certification in about 12 months when you are doing your graduation. So 12 months or probably if you would want to take it a little bit easy, then about 15 months, you can complete the certified management accountancy program of the US in about 12 to 15 months time. There is a great effort to reward outcome. What do I mean by effort to reward? The amount of effort you put in Please understand when I say the amount of effort I put in, it does not mean anything less. You will have to be extremely serious and focused, but only for 12 to 15 months and not for four or five years like your other Indian professional certifications. Please understand once more, you the effort required is the same as other professional exams but it is for a shorter duration. Let me just come back to you, Mr. Lakshman. One minute, just give me a minute. Uh, so the effort required would be the same, but it is for a shorter duration. So to that extent, the effort to reward outcome is extremely good. 
Yeah, Mr. Lakshman, please go ahead with your doubt. Mr. Lakshman, you had raised your hand. So can you come out with what you had in your mind, please? Mr. Lakshman, I think you are muted in case you are trying to say anything. Is he there, Mr. Lakshman? No, I don't know. Uh, that must have been by mistake, I guess. So what I am trying to tell you is the efforts to reward, the quantum of efforts you put in and the benefit you derive out of it is extremely good in favor of the student if you are looking at the CMA as an option. Now, we at Finspire, how do we help you in getting through your CMA. Let's look at what the deliverables of Finspire for the CMA are. Let me also talk a little bit about Finspire in my later slides. Finspire is the academy that I represent. And we are an academy that specializes in providing training for professional finance certifications of the US. Let me talk about a little bit about me and about Finspire in my next few slides. What do we do? You ha will have 144 hours of weekend live online classes. The classes are conducted only online, but they are live classes and not recorded classes. In addition to that, you will also have 72 hours of mentoring classes and also an option to have a video once again for you. Even the class videos would be shared with you subsequently, but both classes and the mentoring would be live sessions with video support wherever you would need. In addition to this, you will also have 100 plus hours of proprietary videos. These are pre-recorded videos. So this would not be live, but you will be able to watch these videos and reinforce the concepts. In addition to this, we also give you Wiley materials. Now, what is the Wiley material we are talking about? It is a software that will help you prepare for your certification. And I can tell you this certification provides you great value when you are preparing because it will be an extremely useful tool for you. In addition to that, you will also be member in Telegram groups. There would be two Telegram groups we're talking about. One would be a doubt clarification group and the other would be a student discussion group. We can also look at a hybrid model if it is needed, provided you know we have sufficient number of students from Patrician College. And you will be writing multiple module tests and mock exams online so that you are fully ready when you are taking up the main examination. So this would be the deliverable for CMA from Finspire. Let us look at a roadmap. How would you be able to complete the Certified Management Accountancy certification in 12 months? Again, I guess, you know, like you may want to probably see this in entirety. I hope you are able to see it now. The classes for and the mentoring for both parts would be completed in four months. Online classes I was mentioning to you. For both parts, the classes would be complete in four months. Then you will have four months for preparing for one part and four months for preparing for the second part. So what do you do during these four months? <coughs> the first two months of these four parts, you will be writing your module tests. Then in the third month, you will be writing your mock exams. And in the fourth month, you will be writing your main exam. You will be writing 12 module tests and three mock exams per part. 
So totally you would be writing 24 module tests and six mock exams before you write your main exam. So that is how this is divided into three components of four months each. The first four months is classes. The second four months is preparation for one part. And the last four months is for the preparation of other parts. That is how this 12 month roadmap has been designed. So if you stay focused for this 12 months, you would be able to complete this certification in 12 months time. Now, the Finspire guarantee, we guarantee success in all our program, subject to you following our methodology without any exception. Now, let me throw some light on what the career prospects would be for you upon completion of your CMA during your BCom. Now, let us look at what would be the average salary a fresh BCom would be getting. I have seen, you know, based on my experience, the average salary one can expect upon completion of BCom would be anywhere in the region of 15,000 to 20,000 rupees a month. Mind you, I'm talking about an average salary. What happens if somebody is completed a CMA during the PCOM duration? The average salary you can expect upon completion of CMA would be anywhere between 35,000 to 50,000 rupees a month. There are multiple companies in India who are waiting to recruit qualified certified management accountants and Finspire assures your placement upon successful completion of your CMA. That is also a part of the guarantee. So we would be handholding you throughout this period until you complete your certification. And also we would ensure that we would be placing you in a good job upon which you will be able to kickstart your career and then take it forward. So this is our guarantee, basically. You need to understand a little bit about Finspire before, you know, like I go to conclude this presentation. As they were mentioning, I am the founder of Finspire Academy. I am the founder and the chief transformation officer. I'm a chartered accountant and a cost accountant in India with a certified management accountancy, certified public accountancy, and a certified internal auditor from the USA. Until recently, I was the CEO of a Japanese conglomerate heading their Asia and the Middle East operations. As Dr. Subramaniam was mentioning, I was working for a company called Sumitomo. And Sumitomo is the oldest business group in the world today with a daily turnover of 16,000 crores. Every day turnover was 16,000 crores. Of course, I was working for one of the subsidiaries in the group and I was heading the Asia and the Middle East operations for them. I have been in the field of academics for more than two decades. I have been teaching students across the globe for more than 20 years now, I started teaching from the year 2000 and I have taught students in the US, in the Middle East, in Japan and in India also. I was also the founder director of Grey Matter Academics, a leading academic institution which specializes in training students for the CA and the ACCA of the UK. Our qualified team consists of chartered accountants, certified public accountants, certified management accountants, certified internal auditors, ACCAs, and more. And we have a combined tra training experience of more than 70 years. So combined from the team, we have a training experience of more than 70 years. So we are very specialized in this field. There is something very important. I'll just take five more minutes, not more than that. And then I leave the floor open for any questions. Please remember one thing. The best investment you can ever make is in you. 
so please understand whatever money you are spending on yourself to upskill yourself is an investment and you need to be doing this on a continual basis you are living in an era where you will have to learn unlearn and relearn because things are extremely dynamic in the external environment so it is very very important also please remember there is no free lunch in this world you will have to pay the price for it if you are prepared to pay 1 rupee you can have an eclair if you are prepared to pay 5 rupees you can have a five star and if you are prepared to pay 500 rupees you can have a ferrero rocher there is nothing wrong in having an eclair you can still be happy by having an eclair but please remember you can never get a ferrero rocher for 1 rupee you need to understand that if you need a ferrero rocher you need to pay the price for it and what i mean by price today is the efforts that you need to put in in that direction so that you are able to get what you want remember we had defined success as getting what you want in our first slide and you would be successful in your life if you are able to get what you want in your life any further clarifications you may get in touch with me or my colleague mr kumar the mobile number and the email id is mentioned here and also the website address now the thank you for your patient listening and the floor now is open for any questions thanks once again wishing you all the very best and god bless the floor is open for questions now any questions my uh, excellent lucid presentation thank you thank you subramanyam colleague okay. authorities can uh, ask questions and also participants can ask for bangladeshi is a uh, students if you have any questions you can raise your hands I'll unmute you. Students, do you have any questions? Or you can type the questions in the chat box. Yeah, you can also type the questions in the chat box in case you know you're not very comfortable asking it in a public forum. you can also get in touch with us in case you know like you are not very comfortable we'll be more than willing to clarify but one thing i can tell you in the new economic scenario and how the globe is today these qualifications would definitely take you to great heights i mean you can see somebody sitting in front of you you know i'm a classic example uh, upon completion of my cpa cma and cia you know like i could get into global positions and i i can proudly say that i was one of the very few non japanese directors and the only indian director in the sumitomo group it had taken me to that level yeah there is somebody who's i mean asked a question how much fee would be required to complete cma in your academy i'm presuming you are a student the total investment for completing the cma certification would be around 1.5 lakhs all told expenditure i'm talking about which would include the cost payable to us for our training and the examination fee membership fee and the registration fee that you will have to pay to the us the total cost would be around 1.5 lakhs it can be lower but i'm just trying to give you a very conservative estimate of the figure it will not be more than that and it is you know like very relevant to talk about if you have watched me carefully i never used the word expenditure when i was talking about the investment in cma so in any investment one thing you look at is how quickly will i be able to get my investment back 
if you are investing in something you would want a return to ensure that you get your money back and that return on investment or the payback period as we call it would be less than one year to get the money you have invested if you had paid attention i was telling you a fresh bcom would get about 15000 to 20000 on an average whereas a bcom with a cma would be getting about 35000 to 50000 on an average so the incremental uh, i'll come back to you rajesh just give me a minute the incremental amount we are talking about is about 20000 to 30000 per month which means the money which you are investing the 1 and 1/2 lakhs for the cma you should be able to get it in about 7 to 8 months time that is why i said one year as the worst case scenario that would be the payback yes rajesh has asked a question what is the difference between the uk option and the us option i had just briefly touched upon that let me just elaborate a little bit about that the uk options as i was mentioning to you they are all long term and they are multi level exams so if you are planning to do acca during your bcom let me just take acca as a representative sample if you are planning to do acca acca has got three levels and 13 papers to complete if you are planning to do it along with your bcom you would need four and a half years to complete your acca whereas if you are looking at the cma as i was mentioning to you you can complete that in about 12 to 15 months time or even if you are wanting to stretch it a bit in a maximum of 18 months time because you are just going to write two papers whereas in case of an acca it is going to be a 13 paper exam which is going to take four and a half years so when i talk about four and a half years and 15 months the major thing that you need to consider is your sustenance capability will you be able to stay focused for four and a half years to complete a qualification or is it easier to complete a qualification in 15 months time so you need to you know like look at that is it easier to run a 100 meters or is it easier to run a marathon that is essentially the difference the reason why i am probably recommending the us option is in the same four and a half years which you would need to complete your acca if everything goes well that is you clear all your 13 papers in your first attempt you complete it in four and a half years and let us assume that you are able to complete it in this four and a half years in the same four and a half years you can complete three qualifications of from the us namely the cma cisa and cpa which definitely will have much better value as compared to just completing one qualification so let us say ganesh acca or ganesh cma cisa and cpa definitely ganesh cma cisa and a cpa will have a much higher value as compared to just ganesh acca so in the same time frame please understand i am comparing apple to apple with respect to that duration that you need to complete the acca i am taking the same four and a half years in that four and a half years you can complete your cma cisa and cpa and for all these three qualifications you just write seven papers as compared to the 13 papers in acca so that is the biggest difference i can talk i can think of when i'm talking about the uk option and the us option i hope rajesh i've made myself clear with respect to your clarification in case you have anything more you can type out your question anybody else got any ask got any clarification guys guys and girls let me tell you one thing 
as i mentioned in the initial uh, presentation itself the next 5 to 6 years is going to be extremely important in your life so please utilize it judiciously and one very important thing you need to keep in mind is remember that you are learning something for the future so what you are learning must be futuristic in approach and it should be able to fulfill your requirement in the future and i can undoubtedly say us is far far advanced in terms of education so if you are able to get a few certifications of the us in the field of finance that would ensure you are insulated against any uncertainties in the future and will stand you in good stead when you are going to face the corporate world not just locally but globally so you just need to keep this in mind what you are going to today should be yielding benefit to you in the future keep that in mind and start working towards it anything else in college uh, people can ask questions uh, faculty or suppose them Some what we can do subramaniam is yes. we probably will go to the college and meet the hod yes. and you know the principal vice principal yes. probably tell them in in little bit more in detail yes. so that you know you'll be able they'll be able to understand it better college is uh, very clear on integrating this kind of process probably what the college can do at this forum just i am mentioning make a psychometric testing or thomas profiling of the students who are coming since they are chosen that bcom or ba corporate subject is going to be there along with that any other program is a must see they can take one is an accountant two is us based program which very well uh, clearly explained by ganesh with this one probably ca or cs or any other one but when you offer you need to know you need to tell them very clearly when they buy the prospectus that's why for the ganesh said we will come there and probably explain clearly but this forum college faculty or authorities and also the students and parents spread across like this it was not there 30 40 years back when i did become 80 83 organized it there was nothing like this kind of program even on the computer online even people never used to come to college and say and if i can say 90s and 90 to 2000 you are talking only on software and all technology there is not programs like this If you are in 2000, this kind of program we have to do only in USA. Or you have to go there and write an exam. Or in, in fact, Singapore and Dubai. In fact, I had gone to the US to write my CPA exams. Mm. Whereas today you can write it in Chennai. That's a mm. very very big advantage. Right, which have been gone by now. Only because those who are gone now are clearly very lucky. Because even those days, British and colonial, not the 2000s they started. Number of colleges are more, number of schools are more, exposure is more. Utilize this opportunity. So go to an opportunity, and as he rightly said, you are taking only five rupees chocolate. Never be happy on that, because always income you have to increase. Expenditure will always increase. You are don't have any control on that. Uh, when we at three rupees, ten rupees petrol, now it's hundred rupees. You cannot control expenditure. try to increase your income by insurance cannot be taken when it is needed for 65 70 years you, but you don't like to take at age of 20 but now 18 to 23 or 25 whatever is said that age you make a c of all this qualification with an embracement of the college as such with a 3 years to 4 years you don't concentrate on anything except this then you see your life We have all seen in that form. Therefore, just we are sharing our experience. Any doubt from the participants? Still, anything we leave to Mogalsi and the probably the conclusion. Anything we are open to ideas. Yes. And another bigger <laughs> advantage. I'm sorry, Maharasi. Just one minute. Another bigger advantage is 
completing a certification like this during your bcom will also improve your bcom performance because you know like what you are going to study is something similar to what you would be doing in a bcom but in a much better you know like proficiency level so your bcom performance is also going to improve substantially right that's fine yeah maharasi yes you can come in thank you sir for your valuable information and valuable inputs we clearly understand what you say thank you so much sir for the such a good opportunity for us now yes. i invite mr janardan assistant professor department of commerce shift to to propose out of thanks Yes, are audible? Yeah, you are audible, Mr. Janan. Yes, uh, yes, sir. Yes. Good morning to all. I am glad to express gratitude to all those who made this day a memorable one. First and foremost, I thank the Almighty God for these blessings and guidance. My sincere and profound thanks to Director and Secretary Dr. Stanislas and Academic Director Dr. Fatima Wasant, Principal Dr. Usha George for their constant support and the encouragement to conduct the student development program. I extend my hearty thanks to the resource person, the most respected Mr. Ganesh Vaidyaswaran for accepting the invitation and for delivering an informative and a knowledge filled session. Thank you, sir. And I also extend my thanks to Dr. Subramanian sir for their for their clarifying their doubts, sir. Thank you, Dr. Subramanian sir. Thank you. And I extend my sincere thanks to the Vice Principal CP2, Dr. Arugameri Geeta Rufus, for enabling us for meticulous plan and the execution. Thank you, ma'am. I thank Dr. Meena, Vice Principal CP1, for her present and support. I extend my thanks to the heads of the department and the faculties of the Commerce Stream CIP2. Last but not the least, I thank all the students from various schools and the colleges, including the first year students of Patrician Arts and Science College. Once again, I thank all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank the you most so respected so Ganesh Vaidhi students sir, and uh, Dr. Subramani sir for your uh, valuable uh, information for the students community sir. Thank you sir. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for the opportunity. Best wishes. All good. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you sir. Thank you all. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, you ma'am. Geeta Rufus ma'am. Thank you so much. You'll say now. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave uh, Subo. Thanks. Uh,